All right. It is finally time to get out, enjoy the old town of Plovdiv and find late lunch. It's 4 p.m. The Mantis is still charging. In about four hours it will be pretty much charged. Look at this old television right there. Cool. And I'm hearing some very beautiful music. I, I was almost about to get out without the camera, but as I'm hearing this beautiful playing, I, I decided to rather take it and see who is playing. I feel I'm a little bit less... Oh, look at this. It's the Ethnographic Museum of Plovdiv. Look at this old beautiful house. And uh, many of the houses in Plovdiv, as you can see, are so beautiful and colorful with different colors and shapes and decorations. I could have eventually went to find the best restaurant, but I just need any restaurant. I'm so hungry. Zdravej! Oh, Kaksman! Snimam video! Kaksman nije. Malko mi treba da te istrmožu da snimam eta galeža. Dobre. A, pa kaj še ti vas kažu, če idem od Sofi, jaz sem s električska trutnetka. Čak se strunim tudi od Sofi? Da. Mi je to tveš električka kola, kot mi maha. Da, da, snimah me. Poslednji moment. Čak je vjeta reležu, kaj si je skril. A, od tukaj je ošte ena istina. O, Milija, do sada nikoga ne sem gul. Crmničko li je? A ne, ne, veš da se? Tja snima dobro na temno, unikala ne. Na tačtu več je na 35 godini počti. Milija, te ga leješ. Ti go veš na mega nekaj, da li hvala veš istorijat? Mi ne, podarak mi je. Germanka je od kjo. Super unikalen. Ako izkiši nešto pol zabavno. Bulgarsko i rodno. Vinagi? Spremi samo heavy metal, da će še izpoši me nekaj. Dobre. Wow, kaj je to zim instrument? Bulgarska dvojanka. Unikalna, napravo me je pronizal v srcetu občo zelo. Da, da, točno za ta iskaj da ti posvira, šo to udri vsički hvora, ki udri v srcetu. Juhu! Mojte misli je, da stina do Sinemoget s električka trutnetka. Sinemoget? Za šest dni. Trgnah pedi tri dni, spak prodopite. Sva je dok tuk, zarežena v momenta. Novo bavno je, šest dni. A mi tja, diga po princi 60 km v čas, ampak kot upestja tok, karam na eko in diga 30-40. Misli, če se kači na vlak. Ej, o. To je čupak kamera. Ne znam kvo je, ne je bolj. Znači je točno tova. Ako še harčiš pari, ima srbski majstvo biti pač. Kaj je tukaj? Gore v restoranta Frakat. Mnogo je dober, no je skup. Kaj je to restoran, be? Frakat tepe, be. Gore je restoran. Napred je v djasno? Da, da. Da, to je zgradinkata. Da. Ами има барбекю на дървени горюща, сървин го това, че много добре готви. Ще харича, толкова това съм толкова... Аз карам сега да го допите 60 км. Не, поне ще е вкусно, няма да се жаляш. Трябва да изявам нещо, така че съм тотално шута. Няма да се жаляш, майстора, Владо се казва... Отивам да го пробвам. Знае как да готвим. Яйде да видим. Този човек е един човек от мен, от няколко години. И да... He always has this hedgehog that he just showed us. Super cute, I mean, it looks absolutely real. And this other instrument that he showed us was also very beautiful. And he also said that in front of me there is a very good Serbian restaurant. Let's go and check it out. I think it's, it's right there. It says barbecue. Exactly what we need. Just perfect. Guess what? Just for the celebrating today of St. George's Day, they have, uh, I think it's veal. Agnesku with uh, with green salad, and this is the classical thing that Bulgarians eat on say John's Day. So I just ordered some, and uh, it's going to come very soon. I almost cannot wait, and I think it's going to come quickly because it's probably pre-made because uh, this meat needs to be cooked for a pretty long time, and uh, I guess it was made during the night or something. So soon we will eat and drink lots of coca-cola for the calories and uh, 
I don't know, I just, I just need it. The first few sips of Coca-Cola, after you have been riding electrical trotnet for 60 kilometers under the sun, feel like heaven. Huh? I just have to share this with you. I, first of all, I hate talking in front of the camera when I'm sitting in the restaurant because people are obviously looking at me, but uh, this is the first bite of fruit I'm going to have since the very morning. The early morning and uh, this is going to be it. so this is this is the meat the lamb meat which is uh, prepared traditionally for St. George's Day it goes along with green salads and uh, onions which I'm very happy about let's try it oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. With some, with some garlic bread. Oh, it's too hot. Mm. Wow. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. That was two portions, definitely, so I took some of it for tonight. That's a way to have a great meal and safe at the same time. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to meet a friend of mine in the center of the city. And now, for a little bit of a break, the road awaits us pretty soon. The trotnet has to charge for about two to three more hours which we can use to meet a friend of mine here in downtown Plovdiv. I may show you or not show you some of this and then we are again on the road because we need to cover a little bit more kilometers towards the Black Sea if we want to reach the actual Black Sea within the time frame that we have and this is just three days from now. Okay, let's go to the Vogami. In English, by the way, sure. because sure. it is in English completely. I speak in English on the vlog, so there was something about the fountains. Okay, I was expecting this actually. But look at those beautiful fountains over there. <laughs> no? Okay. Oh, that was a nice, nice lovely evening. I would call it, call it romantic, and uh, you might get the wrong impression, but if you know me better, I call many things romantic. And you know, the old city, having cocktails, all the people, being with a friend, the fountains, the sky, the sunset, and just uh, the opportunity to spend some time in the city of Plovdiv was pretty much very nice. Now, done. I sent her home, and it's time to focus. By the way, this is the Panayana Palata of Plovdiv. I can use the time as we're walking towards the hostel to show you some stuff. Uh, so it's it's a fair, the fairgrounds of Plovdiv. This has been here for a lot of time. I remember during communist years as a child, my mother used to bring me over here. They normally do one like a huge fair in spring, which is more for gardening, flowers, seeds and things like this. And then in autumn they have the technological fair where you can see so many things like machinery, equipment for factories, even locomotives, railroad cars, 
some very amazing technology was uh, shown here even even back during the communist years when one was not able to see almost anything in Bulgaria in terms of modern stuff but here was the place to come over and be amazed by some of the new technology coming from the west so yeah I just wanted to show you this and tell you that uh, I'm still walking obviously towards the hostel and thinking but uh, I'm getting an idea if I use the main road towards the next location it is 40 kilometers and the trotting is completely full right now so this means the following we can take it right now even though I'm feeling super sleepy let me show you the main entrance to the fairgrounds Ta-da! here it is it has a huge metal clock I'm not sure if it's a sundial or no it's actually moving I saw uh, the arrow just moved to 1031 as the flag stop there you would normally enter through here and there are many 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 homes from the back it's a huge yard for the fair to happen so what I'm thinking is we can take the trottinet and ride it but not in the economical setting but a bit faster around 50 kilometers per hour or something this will allow us to get to the next destination in about an hour which is not that much then the trotnet will be depleted we can sleep charge it and start on a better note tomorrow because if we start from here there's almost no way we would make it in the remaining three days restaurant the small maritza this bridge that i'm walking on here is a huge bridge over the maritza river which is a big river going over the city of Plovdiv. i mean through it and here just a fun a fun fact for you random somebody is celebrating saint george's day Look at this gloomy underground passage. What do you think of it in 10.35 p.m.? Me, being the person who is riding an electrical trottinet, hopefully for 600 kilometers alone on the road, I can tell you that this is a little bit frightening. Street of the Crafts International Fair, we just came from there. And here, we are headed towards the old town. And just like that, we are entering the old town. And I continue to think. And uh, some people who know me well say that I think too much. But this is the moment to actually do some thinking for real. You know, my plan to get the shot in it and ride it right now on one side we can do that on the other side as we saw on so many places today it is saint george's day and uh this is one of the <laughs> one of the biggest drinking holidays in bulgaria this is not the main idea behind it but this is what happens because the tradition is to eat veal meat and to drink and to drink more and uh, then some more and so especially in the villages and smaller towns people would have been doing this starting sometimes in the morning or around lunch there's a little cat for you right there so that means it might not be the best idea to ride the trot in it right now because we will be riding among probably what would be many drunk drivers I got lost just now let me check the map well we are already in the old town look at those houses how they are built right above 
the old cobblestone streets. And uh, of course we can hear some cats because it's springtime, which means cat love time. Look at those small, beautiful streets with the trees above them and the old houses. There's information from many of the houses. It is absolutely amazing place. The old town of Plovdiv, look at this architecture. I should apparently show you more of it during the day, but this is what we can see now. Well, the hostel is right there and uh, I would like to sit here and come to a solution, make a decision. Well, a decision has been made. It is St. George's Day, the evening after that, so they will certainly like for sure be many drunk people alongside the small towns and villages and also on the streets so it's uh maybe it's the worst night to be riding an electrical trotnet so let me show you something this is my room let me do the wide angle lens Ta-da! it's amazing this costs 25 euro with included breakfast Look at this. This is an old Plovdiv house, renovated and made to look and feel just as it felt, I think, more than a hundred years ago. Even the details, the beds, the lamps. This, uh, this box, everything, almost. The setting on the roof. Everything is sold. Okay, it's just for me, so I get to pick a bed. And I think the master bed is just suitable for an adventurer. Oh. I have no more power left. I should fall asleep quickly, sleep well, and uh, tomorrow no more meetings with friends, no more, no more exploration of random objects alongside the road, just, just riding. Because we are way behind schedule. Okay, good night. You know what to do. And I'll see you on the next one.